All right, you guys, it's your girl, Sandra D, the main event, and welcome to my channel and to my community of love and unity. We are continuing our road of talking about the narcissist, so we will not be talking about food and we will not be talking about hair. And if you have not subscribed, what you waiting on? So we're going to go into the second part of the video because I'm sorry, you guys. The first one, I ran out of time and didn't realize it, but I just wanted to go ahead and release it anyway because it was too good of information to pass up that tea to give to you guys for your healing. So part two, we are talking about how the narcissist let you slip through their fingers. So like I said to you guys in the first one, the relationship wasn't going to last from the gate. And the narcissist knew that. The narcissist knew that they were not going to be able to continue to pull the wool over your eyes. They knew that you were destined for greatness. They knew that you were sooner or later going to figure that out, which is why they have all of this supply as well as demands. The relationship with the narcissist could not last because you got to remember you guys are not on the same page. You guys are not on the same level. Okay. Okay. It's just not something that the narcissist is going to be able to maintain to have a relationship with you. The relationship with a narcissist is never going to maintain with someone of greatness. The reason why is because the narcissist is broken. Okay? They are still in the past of their past trauma. Their past hurts. And they're not willing to look at the man in the mirror to recognize the things that they need to do in their lives to become a better individual who is healthy, who can maintain relationships. And even though they've been through some dramatic experiences and even though they were rejected and even though that they were belittled and even though they've been through some hardships, guess what, baby? So have you. So it does not give the narcissist no excuse to go ahead and to, to continue the behavior. The narcissist decides and makes that choice to continue to be that way. There's no excuse for a narcissist being able to continue bad behavior. They decide that's what they want to do. And no matter how good, wonderful, sweet, kind, and loving you are, they are not going to change until they're ready to change. And anybody that's on this channel, if you have ever given a narcissist a second chance, did they ever change? And the answer is no. Because they don't want to face that hardship. Okay? But what they do want to do is make an excuse for their behavior. So what they do is make sure that they cast all of that insecurity, all of that low self-esteem, all of that hurt, all of that trauma, all of that rejection, all of that shame, all of that embarrassment. What they do is they cast it onto you. So all of that healing that you're going through, you're actually going through the healing that the narcissist should have went through on their own behalf. But you have to go through the healing yourself because this is what the narcissist did to you. The, the narcissist is never happy. The narcissist can never be happy. I don't care what supply they get. I don't care how many people that they get as candidates to sign up for what it is that they're asking for, for supply to meet their demands. It'll never be enough. Never. Because the narcissist is broken. They're imbalanced. They will never understand how it is to be a healthy person because they don't want to look within. They're trying to get with you because they think that if they can just extract from your life, that's, just, that's what's going to make them feel better. But it never lasts because they can't walk in your shoes just like you can't walk in the shoes of a narcissist. And the difference between you and a narcissist is you're able to look yourself in the mirror to ask yourself and to ask God, Lord, how did this happen and how do I not allow this to happen again? See, healthy people know how to walk away and let go and move on. 
and some narcissists, they can let relationships go. But then you got some that's so attached, they think that they can sit over here and, and be in your life forever. And it don't work like that. Because no matter how many times a, a narcissist has a, commu a gang community of stalkers, flying monkeys, or them trying to keep tabs on you, it don't even matter. Because at the end of the day, that narcissist is going to get everything that they have reaped, they will sow. Everything they did to you, they hurt you, they're going to get hurt right back. They stalk you, somebody's stalking them too. The narcissist is not getting away with nothing. The narcissist think that they're getting away with stuff, but they never get away with it. It's just a matter of timing. This is why you don't worry about no karma when a narcissist is going to get there. Oh, they're getting it. They're getting it now. You think the narcissist is sitting over there happy? Not one bit. they not happy. Because if they was happy, why are they still trying to have a foothold in your life? If they was happy, they'll know how to let go. Why, what would what, be the point of somebody sitting over here trying to keep tabs on you and, and also have flying monkeys and then have this, this gang community of stalkers? If they got it going on and they so happy, why the hell are they trying to keep tabs on you? I'll wait. Because they're miserable. They weren't happy before they met you. And they wasn't happy when you left or they left. A healthy person knows how to move on and be like, okay, well, I'll just chop this up as a learning experience. Well, Lord, okay, well, thank you for that. Let me make sure that I don't go through that again. You heal through your difficult time. You heal that hurt. You heal that wound. And you know what? You keep it pushing and you move forward. Because you know your destiny is great. Not the narcissist. Mm -mm. They so darn gone miserable. They couldn't even be happy if happy slapped them in the face. Because when the narcissist tell you that they got it going on, they'll try to blame you for everything under the sun. But if it was something wrong with you, why the hell they keep coming back? Answer that question. Why they always want to come back? If there's something that is so wrong with you, if you so damaged, if you such a problem, why they always come back and want to be in your face? If there is such a case of them making and doing all these smear campaigns and having all these flying monkeys watching you and having these community of stalkers, if there was something wrong with you, wouldn't they asses just leave you alone? When they cut tides, they wouldn't give a damn. This is why we don't give a damn. We could care less about a narcissist and what the hell they did. We didn't like what they did. Yeah, the healing sucks. Yeah, it sure does. But guess what? At the end of the day, what we do? We say the end. The end of that chapter. The end of that story. And then what we do, it's a new beginning because we are on that road to destiny. So why does the narcissist let you slip through their fingers? Because they never had a hold on you in the first place. All they wanted to do was sit over here and use you for a time period. So that they could try to get some kind of happiness, some kind of satisfaction in their life that they did not get as kids. And then when they were done, they left or you left. But again, I'm going to ask you this question. If you such a bad person and you cause all this hurt as they say you did, why the hell they keep coming back? Why are they watching you, monitoring you, keeping tabs on you, stalking you, and trying to pull you into the relationship? If you're supposed to be this irrelevant person to them in their lives, I'll tell you why. 
Because they know you got it popping. They know your swag is on point. They know that they can't sit over here and get a life. So they trying to live vicariously through yours. But guess what? When you tell that narcissist, no, 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 no. It's a no. It's a wrap. It's over. You can't come back. And no matter if they had their little flying monkeys, no matter if they had their community of stalkers keeping tabs on you, that just lets you know that the narcissist ain't got power over you. You got power over the narcissist. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, you're destined for greatness.